In January, this video of a university professor arguing with a student over her decision to wear her army uniform to class turned into a major controversy for the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. Philosophy professor Carola Hilfrich can be heard telling the student she's naive if she thinks she can wear the uniform and expect to be treated as a civilian. The university apologized, taking out advertisements encouraging students on mandatory national service to attend in uniform. Professor Hilfrich maintained that the student had deliberately initiated the confrontation. She later decided to stop teaching following hate mail and reported death threats. The video was released by a right-wing pro-Zionist organization called Im Tertsu. It has long campaigned against what it calls attempts to undermine the state of Israel from within. In recent weeks, it's launched a website publicly naming dozens of left-wing academics whom it accuses of doing exactly that. The website, Know Your Professor, lists 85 academics at public institutions nationwide who have, among other things, advocated boycotting Israel or refusing to serve in the army. The site encourages Im Tertsu's thousands of student members and others to suggest further names to be added to the list. Israel's Council of University Presidents has called the project a witch hunt carried out by political extremists. Philosophy professor Anat Matar is one of those named. She says as a known far-left activist with a permanent job at Tel Aviv University, she doesn't feel under pressure, but there's a broader threat. People are at risk, young faculty, adjuncts, all these. I know it affects the way they think, the way they react, the way they write, even the, the, their choice of, of topics for writing. To the surprise of many, these same tactics are being applied within Israel itself Imtertsu denies it's created a blacklist or that it's seeking the sacking of individual professors. It says its student members have been threatened with unfair treatment by leftist academics. What's not completely acceptable or desirable is to say, I believe my country should be boycotted on the world stage. I believe my country should be uh, viewed as an apartheid state, as a pariah state. That's not, to my way of thinking, acceptable, especially when the state is paying your paycheck. Imtetsu says it's engaged in a continual fight to preserve the Zionist state. Its critics say that by naming and shaming individual professors, it's threatening something vital to the health of that state, freedom of expression for Israeli academics. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem.